Sherry Fry, and um, I was just looking through some recipes, and I thought that it'd be really fun because I, I cook a lot of stuff with cauliflower because it's low carb and it's good for you. I make cauliflower mashed potatoes. I just you know cauliflower hot wings, and tonight I decided mm -hmm. that I'm going to do a cauliflower pizza. So mm -hmm. here's what I'm going to do first. You're going to you have to grade. You, if you have a food processor, then you can put it in the food processor. But what you want to do, you have to come close. You have to like get it into like, it's called cauliflower rice. So I have to do it old school and I'm using my cheese grater. Okay. Okay, so I cooked it. I steamed it for about 10 minutes. And um, now you have to put it in like a, a tea towel. I'm going to use paper towels. Um, to just kind of squeeze the excess water out because cauliflower has a lot of water in it. So we're going to squeeze all the excess water out and then we'll kind of put our mixture together to make the dough. So what I did was I drained all the water and a paper towel did not work. I had to use a towel. There's a lot of water in it and you have to get it all out. And so I've mixed that, the dry cooked rice, with uh, about two cups of mozzarella cheese and two eggs. So we're going to mix this up and this will be our dough. Okay, so I took the mixture in the bowl with the eggs and the, the <coughs> mozzarella cheese and we just put it in the parchment paper and we made two little pizzas here. And now we're going to sprinkle it with, I've got basil, parsley, and oregano. And I'm just going to sprinkle, I don't I measure this stuff, I just throw it on. And then we're going to bake for about 15 minutes. Let's do a little bit of parsley here. And you can use whatever seasonings you like. Um, okay, so I'm gonna bake the, the crust for about 15 minutes. Okay, so we pulled it out of the oven and we put our toppings on and we're getting ready. We turn off the oven and we turn on the broil. So now we're just going to broil it for about a couple of minutes just to kind of get the toppings cooked on top. So we'll show you when we're all done. Oh, and this is the pizza sauce I used. It's got three carbs per half cup, so it wasn't too bad. So that's the kind of cup that I used. Hey guys, we're all done. We got mommy and daddy pizza and it looks great. I can't wait to try it. Um, what I did was I put it on broil, you know, and just watched it and waited for it to melt the way I wanted it to. And now we're going to cut it up and eat it. So I'll see you soon.